want to open a shop in the market. A shop for what? The way you handle all her styles. I wonder. Is that why she recommend a hair business for me? No. People make a living out of it. It all depends on how you say it. How I say it is that I want to become a medical. What? Yes. Since when did you start to nurse that that ambition? When we were much younger. Didn't we agree to read journalism? Somehow I'm taking interest in medicine. We agreed that we are going to become journalists and marry twins like us, or at least two brothers. Uh, why are you not picking interest in something else? I don't like it. Okay. I will go back to our initial agreement. No more medicine. Both of us shall become journalists and marry two brothers. Does that make it? Yes. Okay. So keep quiet. Let me finish. Yes. Happy indeed. My daughter wants to join the fourth estate of the realm. Dad, you will pay for his shopping. <laughs> I will pay for an extra plate of food for each of you this evening. <laughs> Daddy, what did I do? Why not ice cream? <laughs> right on with your discussions. Let me go and see my friend just across the gate. Eh? Enjoy yourselves. Closeness amazes me. I find it difficult to travel for the fear of me. I feel the same way too. That's why we must marry two brothers. Really? Yes. You know, when two persons and when one provokes the other, it appears so painful. And I just believe make you angry or get angry with you. I can't even think of myself being angry with my own twin sister. But we pray not to over display it. Really? <clears throat> so, do we agree that we will not betray each other at any point in time? At least not to the extent of making us shed tears. Yes, you got it right. No betrayal, no bleeding of hearts, and no shedding of tears, okay? Really? Stop it! Stop it! Stop it. <laughs> Please, this this is going to the extreme now. Maybe we should go 
have stayed over since. Why do you say that? I can't say what I'm saying, but I think... Is it the miscarriage? Yes. Since we came back, I've had miscarriage twice. And the oil sector has begun to shake. Honey, what has the oil sector got to do with your miscarriage? It has nothing to do with it. The, 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 the sector's problem is a global shakeup. It is not peculiar to Nigeria alone. Then your business is dancing like a pedal. You know I'm trying to make things stable. Honey, this is the second time I'm losing a bit in the country. Is that also a global shakeup? Is that? Answer me. Listen, please. We just have to believe in God. We just need to trust Him. Overcome everything. That's okay. Just pray. We'll be fine. Big shoes. Big shoes. Big shoes. Big shoes. See, your, your mommy has big ears. And, and that means your ears look like mine. Don't mind. You see? It doesn't look like your mom's ear. Hmm? See? No. Touch your ears. Oh. I said, don't mind. Hmm? Just not. Yep. Maybe I'll give it. Okay, okay, you're giving to your mommy now. I take the Okay, yeah. Give me my okay. All right, okay. Oh, oh, oh. This man, leave my baby alone. I take baby. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh oh. See what you've cost now. Okay, sorry. Sorry. Okay, calm down. Come here, come here, come here, baby. Come here. Come here. Come here. I'm sorry. Okay, I'll not give you. Mm -hmm. I will I'll, I'll make sure you have. Bubu, I won't give you. My baby is not Bubu. My baby is Angel. Okay, Angel, I will not give you. Don't mind. Okay, I'll give you. Okay. <laughs> baby, that reminds me. Do you still have some milk in there? I think we have. You not give me. We still have. Yes, yes. Oh, oh. Mm -hmm. like Bubu, stop that. <laughs> Bubu. There's someone at the door. Bubu. Excuse me. Bubu, <laughs> alright. You're welcome. Hey, hi, how are you? Hello, hi. You're welcome. My baby is becoming heavier every day. <laughs> yeah, she is, she is. How are you? Fine. You're very welcome. And how's my brother? He's fine. He has gone to his office. Okay, alright. You eyes are a bit too. Do you have a sleepless night? Mm, something like that. Oh, I want to get back here. I have lunch to do. I would like to join you. Okay, then. Maybe I'll be right back. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, let me give you. Let's go. Mm -hmm. The spirit of twin sisters. <laughs> Baby, come here. Oh, yeah. What are you going to do? Baby, see, you're coming for me. Okay, 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 let's go. Let's go. You want to follow mommy? Hmm? You want to follow mommy? You want to follow mommy? Do you want to follow mommy? Hmm? You want to follow mommy? You don't want to. Where do you want to go to? Okay, let me play with you. Check the pocket. Wait, are you planning to help me? <laughs> I'm already helping you. Oh, uh, do I need to? You have been crying of late. Anyway. It's not a matter of anywhere. You've been crying and it shows. Hmm? Are you God that gives children? You know, if it's a thing of tears, both of us can combine effort and cry from Monday to the following Monday. And before you know it, your house will be filled with children. You don't seem to understand. Both of us have been doing things together. Or nearly at the same time. You have a child, I don't have any. 
It doesn't matter. Just have faith in God and we'll give you your own child. You know, men, when a woman is childless, they will use the opportunity and start hearing gossip. Or they start trying as well. But you know your husband is not like that. I mean, he's so enlightened. One more time, it will be three occasions. Um, what three occasions? Miscarriage. I mean, miscarriage. Mary, is there anyone somewhere eating my babies all the time? Okay. I think I'll go home and see my mom. She has been inviting me on this one. But I refuse. Now I think I will go home. You're crying. It's okay, please. Just don't It's okay. Mm -hmm. God is a good child. And I think at the point in time we will have more children. Okay? You don't, you, you, don't, you don't get it. I, f I, I presume there is a certain metaphysical rebound on me. You know, and, and you're not understanding. I don't understand. I'm, I'm, I'm talking about the circumstances in which I got married to my wife, coupled with the discovery. I, 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 I feel God has, has put in some measure, some, some, some law to sort of check me, you know? And All right, listen, Chima. Was it your fault you chose Marta? Listen, the two of them are so identical that they are bound to confuse people. Okay, so what am I supposed to do now? Listen, that reminds me. Your wife came to my house today with swollen eyes. And it was so obvious that she had not stopped crying. And I overheard my wife cuddling her with words of advice. Is that right? Yeah. Listen, Chima, I think you should visit a gynecologist so he can give you some advice. You know, I'm so happy it is not a case of infertility, but miscarriage. Yeah. But never to worry, I, I just feel everything is going to be all right, okay? I think so, too. Yes, uh, I have to go now. I have things to take care of. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Bye. 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 Taking longer time than necessary. Thank you. Hmm? Thank you very much. That is the thanks I get in this house for being a good wife. And why don't you come and join me in the kitchen so that it will be shorter than necessary? In five minutes, if it's not ready, I go outside and eat elsewhere. How do you concern me? Uh -huh. Is it my business? Maybe for your pockets. It's not my business. Finger come my son, yes. Yeah. This boy. I don't know who, who will grow up to become what? Mine is mine. Ours is ours. You know, let me see your hand. Why are you looking at his fingers? Eh? Yeah? Why are you scrutinizing him? Did you keep it anything there? What are you looking for there? What's that supposed to mean? Come. In fact, one more minute. If it's not ready, I go outside and eat. One Make minute. It half. One minute. I go outside and eat.
Ha! Ju. Andy. Welcome. Uh oh, you did not even knock before entering the house. Hey! Oh, no. Should I have to knock before entering my own brother's house? Eh? Juliana? Am I a leper? Hmm. I did not say that to. I only said some people should learn their manners and knock before entering people's houses. <laughs> anyway, where is my brother? He went to the office. Did he go to the office? Or maybe you gave him so much trouble that he has to run away from his house. What is it? What is your problem with this woman? What is it? Why are you talking like this, sir? What did I do to you? What is it? Eh? Oh, oh, oh. Do I have to borrow a talking pattern from you? Are you now teaching me what to talk or say in my own brother's house? Do you know how much we built this house? Do you know? Samuel, I did not come to estimate the cost of my husband's house. Oh, if you like, you do. Eh? Anyway, now you sabi. <laughs> Which one do I take? Is it anyway? Oh, now you sabi. What is your problem, you hippopotamus? What is your problem? Why can't you say in your house and stop disturbing me? Say in your house and stop disturbing me! Yes! You must get out of my house! You must come and push me! You mosquito! Eh? Come back and rub shoulders with me in my own brother's house. Come back! I don't blame you. You came in here with that bastard you call a son and help them out to talk. Anyway, I'm going. But tell my brothers I called if you like. Just get out of Get away! People put on Yeah. Are you coming or going? Yes, both of them. I'm going and I'm waiting for you. I hope you saw my wife. Yes, she's inside, running her mouth like that writer. You know how she talks. I hope two of you didn't quarrel as usual. I don't have time for that bingo. I came to look for you. Angela, did I hear you now call my wife a bingo? Yes, huh? she's a bingo. In fact, the local type. You call her a bingo. Why do you hate her so much? Eh? <laughs> Why? Eh? I don't hate her. I hate what she is doing to my brother. Ever since you married that woman, you have become as docile as an office flat file. Don't forget that that boy you call Junior, he is not your blood. He is not your son. Going to marry a woman who already has a child in her father's house, it's not the problem. It's not difficult at all. But the problem is what the future may bring. Angela, I say hold it. You hear me? Hold it there. You understand me? I said it. Don't go. Uh -huh. I said it. Oh, hold it there. Now. I will not hold it. Let me tell you. You better start thinking of getting, getting married. Though. Who will give birth to your own child? Who will give your own child flesh and blood? That boy you call Junior is not your child, despite the fact that he calls you daddy. Don't forget that one day, his real father will trace him. And then you will cry, cry well, well. Raising your two hands up, asking for help. But help will not come, even from Anzion. I'm going. Hold it! Sorry, I forgot to say my don't even deserve it. Uh, hey! Thank God you're back. Home. Thank God you're back. What is See, it? eh? Go and warn your sister. Warn your sister very well, though. Tell her that she should mark her limit in this house. Because next time she comes here to talk any nonsense, I'm going to crush her. You should try me. Why didn't you crush her when she came here initially? Come, you women. Better leave me alone. You hear me? Look at this woman. You don't know you're a woman. Eh? Oh, you want to hear it from my mom? What have you just said now? I said you are a woman. <laughs> and if you think you're a man, please leave it. Hey! 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 Some people might think I'm running away. I am not running away. I am just getting ready for you. Anyway. You should not try me in this household. I am not the one to give it to you. 
Because if I do that, somebody will just die. <laughs> somebody will die. Who will kill me? You? You can't do anything, no. You cannot do anything. The highest you will do is to go and call that hippopotamus of a sister. And to God who made me, eh? If that man comes here, I am going to redesign her face for her. Sorry. I will deal with both of you. I Try me. have your time. I'm going out. Come. Come back here. Eh? Where are you going? Where are you going? Oh, you want to go and enjoy with your girlfriend, eh? Of course. No problem. You want to go and spend time with your girlfriend, Abby? No, no problem, oh. Go. Go! But be rest assured that if you leave this place, there will be no food for you this afternoon. I am going to where I'm going to sleep overnight. Ewo! See you! Oh, you think I'm bothered? I am not bothered at all. Eh? But if I don't see you here this evening, me? <laughs> I also know where to go and enjoy myself. In fact, I even know where to go and then spend the night. Till they break off. Julia! No, no, tell me what you just said right now. Are you scared? No, try me. Just step out of this house. Me? Hey, I will step out myself. Yes. Alright. Hey. Don't try that. Try me now. Don't just try that. Try me. Longo. I was here last March. And this is another match. How time flies. <laughs> Just like yesterday. <laughs> How about your sister Mary? She's fine. They're not living too far away from here. Yeah, we shall see them tomorrow. And her daughter? Your father sends his greetings. I hope he's not sick again. He's been sick? Yeah. And you didn't tell me about it? Uh, I think it has to do with choke in the heart region. Uh, I don't, something like this was happening and you didn't think there was a need for me to know? Did they even call me until he recovered? Yes, because he recovered fast and uh, there was no point raising alarm again. Well, I'm still sorry to hear about it. So the trip was good? Very, very good. Okay. okay. I have that your filming program, I, I recorded it for you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'd like to watch it. Eh? <laughs> It was obvious you were not happy when you left your sister's house. Hmm? Do you think you will get your own child by frowning at every irritation? Mommy, what do you want me to do? I can't pretend as if I'm happy while I'm not. You have to be careful so that people won't think you are jealous of your sister. So what do you advise given the prevailing circumstances? As I sit here, yeah, after he conceiving and losing each pregnancy in mysterious circumstances. Mm. Mommy, please, if you know anywhere, please take me there. I'm sick and tired of this, doctors and hospitals. I don't know anywhere like that. I have never been to any of these fetish people before. I'm not talking about something fetish. Maybe herbs roots or any true man of God. Mm -hmm. There are so many men of God in this town. You want me to take you to one of them? No, mommy. The kind of stories we have about those flamboyant pastors, I'm afraid of going to entangle myself among them. There are still true men of God. And they are still existing. Mommy, how do we know them? How do we separate chaff from wheat? By their works, you shall know them. 
by their fruits, you shall know them. So whose works are we going to chew on? All their work looks alike, both the fake and the true ones. seem to know that you are the only person that makes me happy. Mm. My wife is a rattlesnake and my sister is an open trap. Both of them can downsize a skyscraper based in New York City. I'm mm. telling you. You don't mean it. I mean it. <laughs> if it's only when I'm with you like this that I feel happy and relaxed. Really? Understand? Let me eat first before the food gets mm -mm, Forget the food. Let us properly now before the food die. Oh, you see? Traveling on our roads now is pure nightmare. Look at all the potholes and gallops. And all the string of policemen that line up the route asking for one thing or the other. It's hellish. Hey! So we are. Okay. It is our country and we are getting used to it. Come on. I hope there's Panadol in this house. Is it that serious? It's I, I'm telling the hell I've just gone through and yet. Oh, okay, ah, okay, okay, I've heard now, eh? There's Panadol inside. If we go inside, you take Panadol. Ah. Yes. But uh, I wonder why my husband forgot to buy bread on his way back. Common bread. What of cabin biscuit? In fact, I would have even have managed gala. Eh? Did I tell you I, I, I went to visit a, a bread factory or gala factory or biscuit factory? Did I tell you I went to visit that thing? Eh? Please go and bring my brief. brief hey, but that is not enough reason for you not to have bought at least gala, sugar cane, plenty of them on the road. You couldn't even buy anything. Bring my briefcase inside and come and give me a
she did get that. What is this old man doing with pain? Eh? Ah. God. Julia, have you fixed the bath? I'm so sticky. Did you take the panadol I gave you? Yeah, I've taken it. Yeah. Why now? Eh? Uh, why won't I? Why? Why did you take panadol when you know you don't have headache? Eh? Don't you know it's drug abuse? What do you mean by drug abuse? I'm just telling you about the, the hectic trip I've just had and you're talk, talking about drug abuse. What do you know about drug hectic abuse? Trip indeed. You know, when perverts like you embark on certain journeys, everything becomes hectic to them, including forgetfulness. Like what? Hey, don't go there. Don't go there. Hmm. There's nothing inside here. There's, there's, no, there's no money. But there's a woman's pants inside that place. That blue pants. Did you make it along Bini Expressway? Wait, wait a minute. Which pants? No, what, what are you talking about? Hey. Hey. What put this, this, this? What put is that? This pants. Who owns it? My good gracious me. Julia, so since when did you start planting your pants in my briefcase when I'm traveling? Oh! Now I know that you are a big fool. Oh! You are a big fool. Me? You are a compound idiot. In fact, you are a complete ninpon poop. Wait, oh. So these three days, you were in your girlfriend's house, all in the name of traveling for your company's meeting. Your parents must hear this. In fact, I will start with that hippopotamus that by that old cow you call your sister. After that, I am going to deal with you myself. Silly ass. Julia! Sophia! You fell in, in, in my briefcase! Old fool! Get away from me! I wonder the unfortunate thing that even I accepted to touch you. Fool! Sophia! Get away! Okay. If anyone just killed me, eh? Oh, why did you plant your pants in it? In my briefcase. Is it the best way to say good afternoon? Which good afternoon? Good afternoon. Please, for another good afternoon. You don't deserve it, so don't expect any good afternoon from me. Well, I pretend I didn't hear that. I heard my brother is back from his trip to Bini. That is exactly what I want to talk to you about. Your brother did not go anywhere. Your brother went and hid somewhere for three days with his girlfriend. And then he came back to tell me one cock and boo story just to get my sympathy. So what about that? Eh? Yeah. Yes. I saw his girlfriend's pants in his portfolio. Hmm. Blue pants. Mm -hmm. Blue pants. Can you imagine that? What kind of a girl wears blue pants these days? I just said I'm going to tell you, you people, oh, starting from you. Now tell me, what man will stay in a house with an incomplete metamorphosis like you? Eh? Without going outside to look for a woman? What did you just call Yes. You are an incomplete metamorphosis. Ah, when you were in your father's house, you were this distributing children, left, right, and center. You distribute to Okeke, you distribute to Okori. But since my brother married you, even one single miscarriage, you know you're a dunce. What does that tell you? You're just condemning your brother yourself. What does that tell you? It simply means that your brother is not a man. If in my parents' house I was manufacturing children here and there, and then here I can't, what does it simply mean? Your brother is not a good sower, and me, I cannot reap where he did not sow. Then let me tell you one thing. Hmm? You called my brother an important yes, man. Yes, that is what he means. <laughs> but there's something you fail to understand. That you have finished distributing all the children in your womb outside. Mm. 
No problem. You are now a complete barry fool. Hmm. Thank you. Yeah? But anyway, one thing I have to make you know is this. I must tell my brother what you have said. Do you need transport fare? I can give you. Yeah, you go put on mosquito. Come out. Hey, this mosquito will crush you. Come and enter. Let me see now. I will crush Why you. Why can't you ever stay in your house? <laughs> Don't you have a house? Eh? Hey. Give me my bed. Get out from my house. Fine, get out. Ah, <laughs> uh -uh. what is it? Hey, if I touch you now, you will die. You are looking for somebody to kill you, and this is your bastard son. You are looking. You Take him to your get to his father. Mm. Take him to his father. Take him to his father. Stop spending my my brother's money. Oh my God! Anyway, I know my brother is not around. I know he's around though. I know he's not around. No, come on, pass that. Enter. I will deal with you. I will just push you aside and go. Get out. But let me just listen. Get out. Go to your house. Keep it down. Let me see now. I would have fight. Oh, but this woman just escaped me. I would have torn you to pieces today. Nonsense. God, was it in your briefcase that I forgot that expensive pant? I'm sorry. Do you know I've been looking for it? So what do I do with it now? You have succeeded in creating chaos in my house. How do I send you? How do I send the pant to you now? Huh? Uh, mm, well, no, I don't really need it anymore. You know, you can keep it. Keep it? Keep what? Uh, why do Why do I have to keep it? Is this my birthday gift or what? Okay, if you want, tell you what, I am going to burn it. Hey, Joshua, don't try it. Why will you burn my pants? For what now? Eh? So what do I do? This pants is causing trouble in my house now. Big trouble. Uh, so what do you want to do? You know, why not keep it? Whenever you feel like seeing me, look at the pants and you remember me. Uh, so you purposely planted this pants in my, in, in my briefcase, eh? To create trouble for me? You can be very wicked, though, if you honestly. Eh? What did you say? No, 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 no. Joshua, what did I just hear you say? No, I, you know, I, 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 I mean that, eh? I don't want to be seeing the pant and be remembering you now. Eh? I, want to, I want you to be near me regularly. I'm talking of something like permanent relationship. That's what I'm talking about. Hmm. What do you mean by that? Eh, uh, well, don't worry. <laughs> I'm late. Bobo! Come now. Bobo! Just help us. Bobo! 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 Take care of yourself. Bobo! Bye bye! Say bye bye! Say bye bye to your daddy. Bye bye! Uh oh, honey, I have to go now, okay? Take care of yourself, alright? Current is so full. Is this solar energy? Oh, <laughs> well, 
Something like that. Oh, which one is something like that? If it is solar energy, tell us. After all, it's a good thing. I wonder if it's a secret. Why would it be a secret? The sun that gives solar energy, is it a secret? You see how human beings are? See how they are? God created the sun and exposed it in the sky. And then human beings who are going to tap energy from the sun, they are hiding it in Ghana Mosque. Abi, this woman, are you living with us in this country? Is there anybody who can store solar energy in a bag? Huh? In Nigeria, everything is possible. There is nothing Nigerians can do. After all, was it not the other day that I saw a, a, a woman's pants in my husband's portfolio? Is that where they keep pants? Me, one blue pants. One blue pants with, with faded elastic band. From the look of things, since the owner is a very fat woman. Hey, then who owns the pants? My husband's girlfriend, of course. So you know that your husband is keeping a girlfriend as I have not gone to scatter that girl. I have not found her. Don't worry, I'll save her out. Hey! This woman is so funny. So, what happened later? Hey, trust me now. Trust me. I know how to deal with my husband. I know how to discipline him. See, one of these days, he's going to find a man's boxers in my handbag. I mean it, though. I mean it. I am going to deal with him. I am going to do greater things to him than he has done to me. Hey, foolish old ranty husband. Just watch out. Hey, hey. madam, this is a family matter. When you go home, you sort it out with him. Ne, I have already started sorting it out with him. That man is going to be sad. I am going to kill him sad. What is it? Hey! Hey! Well, well. Just take it easy, that's all. You know, the way you were exposing your husband in public is not good. Every family has its own problem. And you will not know unless the person decides to talk. Then let them die in silence now. Me, I will say my own out, or I think it is better like that. But you should understand that. I mean, you should understand that. Hey, hey, hey. Just don't preach to me. Don't preach to me because you don't know men very well. See, men are very foolish. And every woman should devise a way of taming her own man. Wait, don't you think you're making it worse by announcing his name in public? When he committed the sin, was it not in public he committed it? Eh? How about you? Leave me alone. Eh? Okay. Eh, did you come with your car? No, you didn't look for our car. Or being let me know what you want.
me down. I'm sorry, but it was bad news. Bad news? God forbid. What is it? Uh, if, 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 if what I've been told is true, Mike and my parents are in a very bad state. Very bad state. Bad state? Yes. A family member called me up to say that they've had an accident. And that's, and that's why I'm going now. So I'm going to check out everything. Just make sure you take care of the house, okay? I'll call you when I get it. Take it easy, I'm going to call you once you get there, okay? Okay. Catch me there in the next 10 minutes. Thank you. Oh God, I pray nothing happens to my husband. I pray nothing will happen to him. Why are you doing this? We are yet to hear from the direct. I don't like this one. I don't like it at all. Your husband promised that he's going to call us as he gets there. It's not that he's not there now or something has gone wrong or that they're hiding something from us. We are yet to hear from them. You won't know until you get to know. Please stop crying. Mm. Please. Stop it. Your husband is okay. I hope so. I just hope so that he's okay. Your husband is fine. You sure? Yes. What will happen to them? Talk to me. But there's a serious problem. Uh, Mike was, was, was driving. Uh, my parents were there and they had an accident. And even right now, it's just you up in the hospital now. And what happened? They had an accident and one of them died. Oh my god. Uh,
you must realize that God is never taken on our ways. The deep things of this life is so plain. Before Him, He alone knows why He allowed it to happen. Please, take heart, Mary, my daughter. Pull yourself together. If it's a thing of tears, we would have wept them back to life. So take it easy, please. Take it easy. Daddy, did you say I should take it easy? How? How do I take it easy? My, my husband is gone. Where is my husband? Can someone tell him that I'm looking for him? No one tell him that I'm looking for him. Is there someone tell him I'm looking for him? See what you've cost me. My sister was keep quiet. She has started her own. Shima, is there any need for us to go to the village today? Uh, I don't think I don't think so. I think um, <clears throat> she's just staying in Nugu for like two or three days and see how things go. I advise that you don't keep the corpses for too long in the mortuary. Um, the earlier they are buried and we forget about the pains, the better. What do you advise? I think it's a good opinion, except I still have to speak to my uncles and, and see what they have to say as well. That's good. Now go outside and uh, Separate your wife from her twin sister. Otherwise, they can continue crying till they start fainting. <sighs> My daughters, the recent development does not mean that God is weak. It does not also mean that He no longer answers prayer. Let us not grieve too much. Though it is painful, yet we have to bear it. Hmm? Mm. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay. Your husband's departure did not take God on our ways. Hmm? Mm. Don't over grieve. Remember, you have the responsibility to take care of your daughter. And you cannot do that in tears. Okay? Okay, Paul. Mother. Yes, Mom. I'm also talking to you. <laughs> it's so painful that both of you have lost your parents-in-law. But don't worry. Your father and I will always be here for you. Okay? Okay. Just do your best to console your husband. The more you can. I'm sure everything will be okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. If you need anything, just go to God in prayer. I'm sure he will do it for you. We just believe in him for a greater tomorrow. Mm? Mm. 
We will be going over to your husband's family house later in the evening. Hmm? But I don't want to give back. So God will not be angry with us. Okay? Oh. Why would I do it? 